What's good everybody? Today, we're doing another EOC review. So we're gonna be working with a lot of word problems. So the first problem says, what is, the, what is the value of f of 16 minus f of zero when f of x is equal to 4x minus 18? So the way that we're gonna wanna solve is start off by understanding what is the output, the answer when we plug these x's in. So when x is 16 and I substitute 16 in for x, I'm going to get, let's see, I'm going to get 56 as an answer. So that's the first thing we need to do. And that's f of 16. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for f of zero. So now I substitute zero in for x. And once I do, I know that my answer is negative eight. So this is the very tricky part now. So they tell us to do f of 16 minus f of zero, which is thus the answers. But typically what a lot of students will do is they're gonna just say, hey, 56 minus eight, and they're gonna go ahead and pick 48, but that is wrong, okay? The reason why is because we're gonna do 56 minus the answer of f of zero, which is negative eight. So you guys know when we subtract a negative number, it's going to turn positive. So we actually add these two answers and the final answer would be a positive 64. So the correct answer in this problem would be D. So now we're moving on to problem number three. And problem number three is giving us a equation to solve that involves a fraction. But because we don't have any exponents, we could kind of set this up like a proportion. So to solve the proportion, we're gonna cross multiply and just as a helpful tip, I tell my students, if you have more than one term, put parentheses around it. So we know what we're gonna be distributing and multiplying. So we have four on the outside and then in parentheses x plus seven, and this is equal to three, and then in parentheses three x minus four. So after we distribute, this is what we're gonna have. I'm gonna combine my x's, so I have 28 is equal to 5x minus 12. Combine my x's again by adding 12 on both sides. Sorry, not my x's, my constants. And we're gonna get 40 is equal to 5x. Now, once we solve and we divide by five, we're gonna get eight is equal to x, or if you'd like to write it the other way, x is equal to eight. So just remember with the proportion, draw your x, cross multiply and distribute if needed. That is the hardest part of this lesson. Just remember to distribute. So we're moving forward with the EOC review. And now we're talking about negative exponents and fractional exponents. So this is an important rule. So when we're rewriting our fractional exponents, we need to know that with two over three, our top number represents our power and our bottom number represents the root, right? And A is going to be our power, B is going to be the root. So when we have a negative exponent, right? So we have x to the negative one. We also have to remember the reciprocal one over x. So A is gone because we didn't take the reciprocal. Same thing with B. Now we just got to focus on C and D and make sure that our power and our roots are correct. So we're looking for a power of two. So this is a power of three. That would be wrong. And when I look at my answer choice C, I know this has to be the correct answer. 64 is our base. We have a power of two, a root of three. And because it was a negative exponent, we had to take the reciprocal, meaning put this over one and then flip it. So please make sure that you guys remember that when you're working with negative and fractional exponents. So we're moving on to the last problem, guys. And if you found this video helpful so far, we're gonna ask that you smash the like button for us, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comments for future videos you guys would like to see. It really helps with us sharing our videos to more people. So last problem asks us for the y coordinate in the solution for the systems of the linear equations below. So let's break this down. 
So when we're looking for the solution, we normally want to find X and Y, but they told us to focus on Y. So when we look at our Ys, we don't have the same number in front, that same coefficient. But I noticed that one is positive and one is negative. So if I multiply my bottom equation by two, they could get the same coefficient. And before we go there, just make sure that you reread the question properly, because a lot of us want to start off with the x variable, but they didn't ask us for it. So we're going to multiply this equation by positive 2. This first one is going to stay the same. So let's just rewrite it. So once we multiply all three terms by 2, not just y, all three, we're going to get 8x minus 2y is equal to 4. And now we could use elimination to solve. All right, so cross cancel. Now we have 5x is equal to 10, and when we divide by that 5, we're going to get x is equal to 2, right? But just remember, they asked us for the y coordinate. So let's go back now and use this x answer to determine what y is. And we could pick either or equation, guys. Doesn't matter. I'm going to pick the bottom one because it's easier to solve. So we substitute 2 in. We have 8 minus y is equal to 2. When we substitute 8 from both sides, we'll get negative y is equal to negative 6. y variable can't be negative by itself, so we divide by negative 1. And we know positive y is equal to positive 6. So just make sure after you solve the first variable, we go back so that we can actually solve with y. Because if we move too fast, we're going to pick the wrong answer. And two, when we solve for the y, just remember, x or y, when it's by itself, cannot be negative. So we hope you found this ELC review helpful. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. This is Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters.